Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three new Talentis. These were $4.79 each at Meyer. We have the Strawberry Margarita. This is Sorbetto. This is the Salted Chocolate Churro Gelato. And also Gelato, it's Bourbon Fudge Brownie. And I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that these are sealed. So, Talenti, used to have a plastic seal around the outside. You could clearly see it. It was around the top of the lid. I like that because, um, is it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, that I liked nice. that because I knew, you know, you could look at it in the freezer section, you knew it had a seal around it. Then for a little while, they quit sealing them completely. Like the machine must have broken down and they, I guess, I don't know if they were making decisions. Are we going to fix this thing? I'm just assuming. I'm making up the story in my head. Are we going to fix this thing or what are we going to do? And so I guess they decided they got rid of that machine that does the plastic True. on the outside. And then they brought in the machine that, that puts the one on the inside. But bad for me because I can't see it in the store unless I want to open it up in the store. Yeah, I almost wish they would put a little label on the top or something saying sealed for your protection. Sealed, yeah, something, something because... Um, sealed for freshness, you know, something. I quit buying it when they quit using a seal completely. I stopped buying it. Uh, so in some videos you'll hear me say, um, I'm not buying any ice creams with seals, including blah, 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 and it probably includes Talini, because for a little while they didn't have a seal on them. So I'm really glad they have them on there now. So strawberry margarita. It is a recipe 80 dairy-free pairing of strawberry sorbetto and lime sorbetto mm -hmm. with a, um, agave to create a classic margarita flavor. 140 calories for two thirds cup and there's three servings in here. Ooh, and this is so pretty. Um, you could probably see it more like that than from the side, but you could see it on the side in the store too. Okay. I always like the texture of theirs. I dug deep. Okay. No, it's, a shame. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. It's white and pink. And I'm it smells like alcohol. One at a time. It literally smells like a drink, like a mixed drink. I don't think you're supposed to. It try. tastes like it. If you try, yeah, get, get ready. It does does that like taste alcohol. like a margarita? Yeah. I like the strawberry. Don't mm -hmm. like that lime part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you saw your little kid. The strawberry, <laughs> the strawberry is delicious. It is um, very natural, sweet, strawberry flavor. I'm gonna try them together, of course. It makes it worse. Yeah, I do not like that wine whatever. Mm -mm. It does taste like margarita. It reminds you of margarita. If but you like that alcohol flavor of a margarita, Go for it. I uh, have drank plenty of margaritas, but don't have them that often because uh, once you've had one, you realize that I don't know. It's 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 not just not something I want to drink a lot of. Um, now Ashley makes that pixie stick martini. Now uh, is that what it's called? Candy, yeah, and that's completely different. I can drink a lot of those, but a margarita is just something really. Once you have that, they're huge. Once you have that one big cup, I don't know. I don't feel the need to have any more. That is so, that alcohol flavor is so strong in that lime part that it ruins it for me. That's too too strong. But the strawberry I mean, is delicious. Str that's as strong as, as more real alcohol. Oh, absolutely. I think real alcohol might be less strong than yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's very, very, it's very strong. strong. If you um, like that kind of thing, go for it. I think it's good quality. The texture's really well oh, yeah. done. I mean, everything about it is good. Except for the flavors, just not that I agree. Uh, this is the salted caramel. Uh, sorry, it's not salted caramel. This is the salted chocolate churro. It is recipe 82, a pairing of Belgian chocolate gelato and cinnamon gelato with salted caramel and churros. Now, see, this sounds like it's more like. Yes, uh, two thirds cup, 124 grams is 280 calories, and there are uh, three servings in here. 
And once again, it's a uh, half and half. I think all these are. And I don't yeah, know. Do you want to try to pull that off or you may just lay that yeah, and go for it? Go for it. Okay, here we go. No reason to fight it. Ooh, don't fight the There's human. stuff in there. I hope I've got some of that stuff in mine. It's the churro. Did you? I don't here, know. Here, get, get your spoons. Move some of that out. Or take it off. Did I leave? <laughs> there's some. <laughs> I hope I left you there some. There is. There's some on the side. Yeah, that's like a churro piece. Mm-hmm. Very sweet cinnamon, though. I like that. Mm-hmm. I do, too. It, um, it's not crunchy. Um, mm -hmm. No, it's more cake-like. I'm not sure about that chocolate. It's a darker kind of taste in chocolate. Oh, I mean, can you like it? Uh, I like it. It's not bad. I don't get a salty flavor from any of it. I really do like the chocolate. It, the whole thing is um, very, very sweet and creamy. It's better together. I'm going to try it together right now. And I have a little churro piece. Yeah, it's really good together. Tell you what, that is delicious. It melts like it's warm. I tell you it. what, the dangerous thing is, is you could eat that entire pint. Oh, easily. Within 15 minutes, I could have that gone. Mm -hmm. Gone because it's so crazy. It's so soft. So soft that you just want to keep eating and eating and eating and you just don't even realize how much you've eaten. That's wonderful. That would be one, um, if you like a cinnamon sugar and, and it's like a, like they dipped a churro in cho into chocolate. Mm -hmm. I really like the chocolate. Yeah. I, After I, having I like more it. of it. I like it better. I okay. It's more. Okay. Um, well, that's good. Cause at first I thought it was very, um, kind of dark, but it, it, it ended up being not that dark. No, no, not at all. Okay, this last one is uh, more alcohol. Sorry, Kevin. It is the bourbon fudge brownie. Yeah, but the, well, we'll see. We'll see. The bourbon, uh, if they did the bourbon as strong as they did that margarita, then we're in for a fun time. Okay, recipe 81, pairing a Belgian chocolate. So the same chocolate, um, Gel uh, Belgian chocolate gelato and oak aged bourbon gelato with brownie pieces. Hmm. 270 calories for two thirds cup. And um, it looks like um, there's little black dots in the chocolate part. It looks like almost like or coffee or something. Okay. And there is, um, you can see. Did you get a brownie piece? Yes, I did, right on top. I'm gonna try that first. Okay. Brownie's good. It's kind of got a soft chew. Yes. Not quite cakey. Like I don't like cake textures. It's um no, but it is a thick brownie. Yeah, I like that rum. I mean the uh, bourbon, bourbon flavor because it almost tastes like rum. That's a sweet bourbon flavor, and it's not as funky alcohol oh. flavor as that strawberry daiquiri. It's, we it's haven't had nice. that kind of bourbon. No, it's very nice in them. What? Yeah. Doesn't it taste like rum? Does it remind you of rum a little bit? It, a little bit? Yes, and the reason why is because it's very sweet. Yeah, it's almost like a, a buttery, it, buttery kind of flavor. But it does have that uh, oaky mm -hmm. uh, flavor to woodsy. it. Yeah, woodsy. Yeah. Um, I really, I, I would like to know. Um, I like the bourbon, but I like the chocolate. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm sure they didn't really put alcohol in it. Um, no, it's just a flavor. I wonder how they came up with that really n a nice flavor, though. It's mm. really good. I like it. Did you try them both together? Just now. I like it better just the bourbon. Oh, they could wow. put just the bourbon I by itself, it though. Mm -hmm. They could put the bourbon by itself, though. I think I would eat it. They, I would eat it too. But I tell you what, it's good together. Wonderful. I do like the little bar the little brownie pieces too. They didn't put a lot in there. Mm -hmm. But the ones you get, most of them are smaller, where mm -hmm. you're not getting this big hunk of brownie. And when you do get a bigger hunk of brownie, it's kind of got a chewiness to it. And it's really, it's nice. I love the combination. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Actually, truthfully, that's probably the only one I'd buy out of the bunch. Um, 
I will have I definitely. Didn't mind the I'm not buying the margarita because no. I, the, I like. I would buy if they had just strawberry sorbetto, which I'm sure they did. They probably do. I would totally get that by itself, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't get the margarita again. I like the churro a lot. I, I think do it's too. great quality. It's not a flavor I'd want all the time though. But um, that's the one. that. You know what though? For people who don't want an alcohol flavor at all, like don't want to be part of that at all. Then you yeah. will appreciate the churro. Be good. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But for us, that that is delicious. But it, you know, you say it don't like an alcohol flavor, but it doesn't come across as alcohol. No, but it, it comes that, across as almost like it's not quite butterscotchy, but it does have a buttery kind of. If that weren't labeled bourbon, then we would be sitting here saying that tastes like it has alcohol in it. Do you think so? I do. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it really does remind me of a very sweet rum. That's what it, what it tastes like to me. Because, like I said, it tastes like a, a like a lifesaver butter rum candy. Yes, that's it what it tastes like. Yes, that. yes. It's very, it's very sweet, sweet, kind of buttery mm -hmm. rum kind of flavor. Yeah, I could eat that in less than fifteen yeah. minutes. Uh, if, if they actually sold bourbon that tastes like that, it'd probably be a drink. I know, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I, I get wonder, a little glass every once in a while. Yeah, I wonder what bourbon gave them the the inspiration for this. Yeah, because most of the stuff we have is really strong. Yeah, because I would drink that because that is that That'd is be good in bourbon balls. Can you imagine that in a bourbon ball? It, yeah, that'd really. I, so that's delicious, like candy. That's the kind of bourbon that we want. Mm -hmm. um, well, that one's good. Mm -hmm. And the churros is good. Yes. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.